What's up, family? How you guys doing, Leo? Leo gang, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, right? And hit that notification bell button. So every time that I go up, you know what's up. And that's on period. So let's see what's going on for the energy, spirit, angels, and some supplies by light. Please give me after messages. Or in Jamaica, please protect me. As I open my soul channel, use energy, spirit. So we have deception. So there is definitely... um someone around you that's wearing a mask or this person is wearing a mask there's deceptive energy here there's somebody that's at a distance from you um from you here this could be somebody that you guys kind of stay far apart from one another somebody that could stay in another state they could stay in another city this is somebody that or this is somebody you're just not like you said you're in separation from here with the distance here yeah action so somebody is hopping on a plane midnight train to georgia Somebody could reside in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, somebody could be hopping on a Greyhound. They could be in their car or they could be hopping on a plane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. A one way flight or some shit like that. So someone could ride Spirit, whatever, Delta. So someone is definitely um, coming towards you. But I feel like this energy is deceptive. I'm getting somewhere coming bearing. They come bearing on flowers here. But this person is wearing a mask. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all. Inner child. This is somebody that has inner childhood wounds. They have some sort of childhood trauma here. That is who this is coming towards you. I'm saying somebody on their Jason shit. For real. That's what they own. Okay, what else for my um Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node proposal? Okay, we gonna get into this. So I definitely see someone taking action towards you. That's for sure. What is deception here? Someone can stay in Washington D.C. What else for my Leos? Okay, regret. Okay, regret. Okay, so that is clarifying the um, deception here. So, okay. So, there is someone that lied to you. There was someone that was dishonest with you. Someone that was not telling the truth. And I feel like this person has a lot of regret. I feel like this is really hitting this person in their heart chakra. I feel like their heart is really hurting. They're truly remorseful here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is definitely in their emotions. This is somebody you're in separation from. This person is definitely in their emotions. I feel like this person wish they would have done, they would have did things right from the beginning when they first met you, when they first got with you. I feel like they wish they would have been honest. They would have been upfront about um, what they had going on. But instead, they lied. Instead, they deceived you. And I feel like now they, they're sitting in a regret here. <laughs> yeah, so someone is coming towards you with some sort of gift here. So someone do have presents for you they have gifts someone could be getting you something for christmas but i do see somebody coming towards you with some sort of, with some sort of gift this could be jewelry this could be money but i'm definitely seeing someone they they come in they come in they ain't coming empty-handed i'll tell you that <laughs> they coming with something in their hand to try to get shit right <laughs> with you she yeah, somebody somebody wish they could buy you a bentley <laughs> bitch how you crying in a bentley period <laughs> Let's see what's going on for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North No here. Yeah, this is somebody that betrayed you. This is somebody that um, they had their own um, shadow work they have to do. They had their inner their own inner childhood wounds that they had to heal. This person was an unhealed person when they got with you when they met you. They was not ready. So you were you were truly a blessing. You were the gift. You were truly a blessing in someone in someone's life. You were truly the prize in someone's life. Um, but I feel like someone wasn't ready to um, handle somebody of your caliber. They wasn't ready to fuck with somebody on the level that you were on here because this is somebody that they still had a lot of healing they had to do. Understand that, like I always say, hurt people hurt people. And understand that in order for somebody to heal, they have to hurt you in the process. That's why it's good to let people go off. When people leave your life, when people exit your life, when people walk out of your life, let them do that. Because 
them only staying around, they're only going to do you more damage. They're only going to do you more hurt. And, and, and sometimes people can hurt you so bad and hurt you to a point where there is no coming back from it. Sometimes people can hurt you so bad where it's irreconcilable. There is no reconciling. There is no, oh, let's start over. So sometimes it's best for you to leave a person alone. And get yourself together if that's what you feel like you need to do in order to come back to them a better person to where you don't completely sabotage it. You know what I'm saying? At least if you be honest about a situation, you know, maybe later on down the line, if it's meant to be and things are able to be salvaged, you guys can start over. You know, because it's, it's not like a lot of that resentment, anger or that bitterness there. You know, so it, it ain't about what you do it's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to fuck with somebody else, if you, if you want to explore other options, if you feel like this ain't what you want right now, whatever it is that you want, always be upfront and honest with a person about what it is that you want. Don't lie and deceive people and then fuck up an opportunity for you later on down the line that can possibly be something for you because you went about that shit the wrong way so it ain't about what you do is how you do it and that's the thing that a lot of people fail to realize a lot of people want to do them but still hold on to you so hurt you and fuck you over and do you all kind of dirty to, to satisfy their own needs being selfish and then still yeah so somebody is coming in big. So somebody is coming in to propose to you. So this person, they gonna do they gonna do the grand. They gonna do it grand canyon like big as fuck. Somebody gonna come in, yeah, cause they, somebody feel like you really vibrating high. You vibrate on a high frequency. This is somebody that did put you in a third party. I feel like you vibrating on a high on a high frequency. Like your vibe is just so you up here. You know what I'm saying? You up here. You don't heal and you don't glow up and the sun is shining bright on you. Your skin glistening and glowing and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some this person is coming towards you with a proposal. So, you know, at least somebody do. Um, looks like at least somebody's trying to take accountability. Um, taking accountability is the first step. You know, owning the fact that, hey, I fucked up. Hey, I was wrong regret somebody do feel remorseful for about what they did somebody they, they are in their feelings about what they did i feel like the and this is somebody that like i said you guys are in separation like i said this person could be staying at a distance from you don't they don't have to and they don't have to necessarily be staying at a distance this is somebody who y'all like i said y'all could just be simply in separation and um i feel like the distance this person has but between you and them it really got them in their feelings. I feel like they want to feel that closeness with you again. They want to get back close with you. This is somebody that's on their way. This person could be traveling. They could be traveling to you for the holidays. But this is somebody that's traveling on their way to you. This is somebody, like I said, they betrayed you because because they was a fucked up person. Fucked up people do fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when people do you when people do you so dirty and all you did was give them love and nourishment um healing energy um when you just gave somebody everything give you and all that you had to give and it wasn't enough you have to you just have to look at that person and leave that shit on them it's not on you it's on them you did your part right and you have to understand a lot of times when people do stuff it has nothing to do with you a lot of times it has everything to do with how they feel about themselves the experiences experiences that they have they have um had in life which has caused them to be this type of person. What else for my Leo? Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and North Node. Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and North Node. Surrender. So this is somebody that's ready to surrender to this connection. They're ready to surrender to you. They're ready to, like I said, they're ready to be honest. They're ready to be straightforward with you. They're ready to come clean. Yeah. This is somebody who regret breaking up with you. This is somebody or you walked away from them. Y'all had a breakup or you got tired of their shit. But see how that girl is in the front and he's trying to grab on her. He's like, no, wait a minute, baby. So somebody just feels like, you know, they regret the breakup between y'all. Um, They regret how things went down between y'all. They regret how y'all broke up. So this is somebody that you just say, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Since, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to take me in consideration. You don't want to consider my feelings, my emotions and shit. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm something to be toyed and played with. Oh, so you think it's Toys R Us, bitch. Okay. I'm going to show you Toys R Us, bitch. We going out of business around this motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? You should. <laughs> 
<laughs> you had to show somebody like, don't play with me. Don't play with me because it won't be no Christmas around this bitch. It won't be Santa coming down the, the, the chimney again. No motherfucking cookies around this bitch. Okay? Don't play. Yeah, grass is greener. This is somebody that's wanting to come back towards you because this person is realizing that the grass is greener with you. You know, see, sometimes people, they get caught up in... um. You know, instead of trying to water their own grass and water the grass with you and trying to grow and build with somebody, sometimes people, they just hop around always looking for greener grass, opportunist type motherfuckers. And they always looking for the next shiny thing. The next thing is glitter and glow and glistening. Everything that glitter ain't gold. And um, somebody could ho hop. Somebody could like to hop from bitch to bitch, ho to ho, whatever, whatever. Because they think the grass is green. They're, they're always looking for greener grass. And that's where you fuck up at. Understand that the I always I always say this. The greatest gift in this world is love. Understand that Jesus Christ is love. And he that follows the light will know the way. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people fail to realize that. That's how come you can have people who have so much money. Just know that some of the wealthiest people, some of the most richest people in the world are so lonely and depressed because why they have all of this money but they have nobody to share it with they don't have true love see understand that it's easy for people to fuck with you when you at the when, when you on top when you when you popping champagne you popping shit you got it going on it's easy for people to fuck with you because everybody love you because of what you have but the love ain't real the love ain't genuine the love ain't true it ain't true love these people love you because of who you are. But when all that shit leave your life, the minute your kingdom fall, they gone. Them, them people ain't there no more. But it's hard for people to fuck with you when you at the bottom. When you at the bottom, that's when you really see who your true friends is. You see who your true family is. You see who your true lover is. And that's why I always say, don't get caught up in super, superficial shit. Because life is truly not about the superficial don't be a materialistic person. Don't get caught up in materialistic shit because material shit come and go. A poor motherfucker can, can, can be rich tomorrow and a rich motherfucker can be poor tomorrow. Because understand that status, material shit, that shit change. That shit come and go. That shit come and go. It's all about a person's mental, a person's mind. It's about their heart, their mind, body, and spirit. That's what people lose at every time. And that's why people lose. Because see, you were the prize. You were the gift. And somebody looked at you like you was less than. Somebody looked at you like you wasn't good enough. Somebody looked at you like you ain't have enough. But the whole time, you were the blessing. You were the prize. See, God come in mysterious ways. God will drop a blessing in front of your face. But if you're shallow, if you're unhealed... If you're materialistic, you will miss out on the blessing. See, you may not have had, you may not, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about something right now. You may not have had the status or you may not have been where this person thought you should be. But you could be, this was, see this woman, she looks sophisticated. She looks intelligent. She has a lot of potential. You could be a woman who, you may not have a million dollars in your pocket, but you have a million dollar mind. You a gold mine. And with the right motherfucker, y'all could become a power couple like B and J. But somebody didn't see that. So now you going out and you getting your own bag. You getting your own bag. You getting your own shit because you know that you are the blessing. You fulfilling your own wishes. You making your own dreams come true. Because you know that you are the blessing. You are the gifted. Understand that everybody had to start from somewhere. That's what people get it fucked up. See, don't nobody want to shoot with you in the gym. But they want to be eating at your table. When not when you make it. Just like Diddy. If I'm not mistaken, I think Diddy started out working for, he was underneath LA, LA Reed. The record company. the record, uh, Another record label. Before he started his own label. But because he worked for a label already, he knew the business. He knew the business. He was hungry. He wanted it. 
You know what I'm saying? That's when he went and got B.I. Um, the Tories B.I.G. them God rest in peace. Um, he went and got them and started building his own team. But he had the knowledge. He had the wisdom. So he may not have had, you know, his, his, his empire. He had a dream. He had a vision. So he was not where he wanted to be at the time. But see, God was positioning him for the position. He ended up letting that go and took what he learned and he knew from the business and created his own empire and became who he is today. Right. Because he kept that vision. That's the reason why you have to look at what you already have. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for who is in your life. You have to you have to understand true love. True love is hard to come by. So even if people don't know how to work with people, people don't know how to work with you and y'all get money together. People want to meet somebody that's already packaged in, in a pretty bowl and, and it's already wrapped well. People want people want somebody that already got it because they want something easy. And then it come with a whole bunch of bullshit that they that I ain't ready for. Then it comes some shit that's a whole fucking headache. And somebody that really don't give a fuck about them. Somebody that really don't love them. Versus you. You love somebody and care for somebody. But they didn't want to. Y'all get it together. They didn't want to get, get it out of the mud together. They wanted something that they felt was already packaged and delivered. Signed, sealed and delivered. They didn't want to work with you and go get it. And end up missing out. And end up losing the what? Losing the blessing. This is a lesson within itself. Don't judge a book by its cover. Walk by faith and not by sight. Things is not always as it seems or what it looks like. So somebody has a lot of anxiety. They have a lot of fear. I feel like also somebody fears being vulnerable. This is somebody that's afraid to open up and express their emotions. This is somebody that is... um. It's hard for them to open up. It's hard for them to say, I love you. It's hard for them to be, you know, emotional, hold hands, hug you, kiss you. Somebody, they just not really that type. It's hard for them to, you know, open up and be soft. Their heart chakra. This is somebody that's watching you on social media. So this is this this is somebody that's planning on taking taps, is planning on taking action towards you because they're watching you on social media, and this is helping them plan their move on how to come towards you. This is somebody that be up late at night. They watch your social media. This is somebody who probably when they at work me on their lunch break or whenever they work and they watch you on social media. So whatever, if you're somebody that's on social media, this person does watch you. Just period. They do keep track of that. This is somebody that keep up with your likes, your comments. Just the strives, all that shit. They pay attention to all that. This could be somebody that also wear glasses here. Yeah. This is somebody that could have listened to their friends. Truth at the bottom of the deck. This could this person could have had friends who are who are bad influence. Friends that are very toxic. Friends who give bad advice. Somebody friends could have gave them bad advice about you. And interfere in this connection. That influence their decision. Also, I'm getting somebody tried to friends would benefit you. And now somebody's realizing that you are the empress. Now somebody's realizing again that you are the blessing. That you're not that type of person. You're not the type of person where somebody gonna just think you good enough for some ass or you or you just a good fuck. But you're more than that. You're worth more than that. Somebody could want to start off as being friends with you, taking things slow and being friends with you as well to, to gain your trust back. I'm also getting that. Yeah, intuition. Your intuition could have told you, like I said, that this person has childhood trauma. So you could be somebody who's very intuitive. So you know this. You could also be somebody who's into tarot. You watch her or you do tarot. So you know this. Betrayal. This person is facing karma. Betrayal here. This is somebody that betrayed you. This is somebody that was a player. 
This is somebody that had all the ladies, they had all the bitches, they had all the hoes. This is somebody who nice looking, they good looking. They can have hair. This is somebody who be like corporate America. They got some type of swag. This is somebody who they well put together. You know what I'm saying? This is a very attractive person. Very attractive person. Well put together person that attract a lot of motherfuckers. But this person betrayed you. I feel like their karma is that they're experiencing legal issues. So this person is experiencing some sort of legal issues because of what they did to you. Also, this is the justice. The justice here. The scales are being balanced. They have to pay for that. They got to pay up. They got to pay that karmic debt for what they've done because they fucked over a divine being. You were somebody divine in a person's life and they fucked over a divine being. So when you pray for something or when you ask God for something or when God knows your heart desires, when God knows what you desire and God Put it in front of your face and you think that you're going to shit on that. And you think you're going to treat that person dirty and treat that person nasty. You're going to pay for that. You cannot do that to a divine being. Yeah. Now this is somebody that wants to propose to you. They do want a family with you. Yeah. This is somebody that they definitely crushing on you. Yep. And regret. Like I said, so regret twice. So this is somebody, like I said, this person is in heavy regret. They feel a strong magnetic attraction towards you here. Again, proposal at the bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. So like I told you, this is somebody who's definitely planning and preparing to propose to you. They could already have a ring already from K Jewels, but they definitely um planning to propose to you for sure. This is somebody that they do see that the grass was greener with you. They do watch your social media. This is somebody that did do you wrong. They did do you fucked up. They did do you dirty. This is somebody that was a player. They was in and out. They was flighty. Somebody is realizing they had something special. They had something unique that they had a gem. What else for my Leo spirit? Sun, um, sun moon, rise, Venus, and North and all for my Leos. Okay. Okay. So four cups in the reverse. So this person is, they're getting back motivated again here. This was a lost opportunity here. I feel like this person wants to seize the opportunity now. They're letting, they're trying to let go of some sort of regret. I feel like they just want to, I feel like this person could have been sitting in regret but like i said you have a surrender here i feel like somebody's getting out of this regretful energy and they're trying to soak up the courage to just come and make it right with you i'm getting that here let me get one for my leo sun moon rising venus and north node for the leos yeah i told you this person they conscious in their ass up this person conscious is eating they ass the fuck up they feel so this person is stressed the fuck out Yeah, I told you. They're gonna they wanna talk to you. This person could have been in some type of stagnant energy or whatever. Like I said, soaking in their misery, soaking in their pain and their regret. I'm like they're now getting the courage to just wanna talk to you. This person's gonna they're gonna reach out. I also feel like an ending or something blew up in this person's life just suddenly. Something unexpected just happened. They experienced some type of sudden tower in their life. I feel like something hit them really fast. Yeah, they didn't see this coming. This is something they did not see coming. This could have been, like I said, some type of legal issue that they didn't see coming. Something just blew up in this person's yeah. So this was on, this was told this was a player. This person didn't see this coming. This was this player, somebody that was in and out, somebody that was very flighty, somebody moody, sometimey. They they could be a show off. Somebody who's very sexual here. They like to go on a lot of sexual rendezvous here. Yeah. This, yeah, this person walked away to be a player. They walked away to be a player. They walked away to, to, to you know what I'm saying, to spread the raw oats to do them or whatever. To just live their best life. Not be tied down to anybody. Play around. That's what they ran off to do here. But it was something hidden here. With the towel here. And I feel like something hit their ass out of nowhere that they was not expecting here. Yup. <laughs> this person walked away from trying to grow up. They wanted to play. So they walked away from the king of wands to be the, the night the, the night of wands. This person didn't want to grow up. They didn't want to take charge and lead and really man the fuck up. 
or woman to fuck up, either or, and be responsible and, and take accountability and take charge and take lead and take ownership. They didn't want to be that person. They want to be an irresponsible motherfucker who just want to play games and play around and, and not commit and tie down to nobody. That's what the fuck they was on here. Yep, they watch your social media, period. This could be an Aries. Yep. So somebody start start somebody walked away from you from having a new beginning with you to work with you to work and collaborate with you. They moved away and moved on from you. Because like I said, somebody's friends influence them. Yeah, somebody else, somebody friends could also influence them to go towards another person. This could have been a water sign here with the um, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is somebody who's very much in their head. This person is, they, they, they're afraid. This person is very nervous. They're very afraid. I feel like this person is, afraid. Like I said, I feel like this person is afraid to be, to be vulnerable here. They're afraid to show emotions and feelings. This is somebody who's being very stubborn. You could be messing with another Leo here, but somebody was afraid to be stubborn. Somebody was very, somebody was afraid to surrender. This is somebody that was being stubborn here. They didn't want to surrender to the connection here. Yep. I feel like someone is also repressing their feelings and their emotions for you. Somebody's holding back their emotions. I feel like someone could have also been in denial about their feelings. Someone could have been trying, no, I don't love that. I don't love that motherfucker. I don't love that motherfucker. I feel like somebody was in a was in denial about their feelings for you as well. But I feel like somebody's definitely in pain. They're missing you here. I feel like something was unrequited. Also, somebody could have had a miscarriage or something as well. But yeah, this is somebody who's very regretful here. So expect somebody to come towards you because I do see somebody taking action towards you here because I'm getting a guilt. Somebody has a guilty conscience. I'm definitely seeing that here. And I feel like this person is definitely going through some sort of awakening, a wake up call and ready to change their ways here. So that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.